Hey guys, this is Stas and welcome to my gardening vlog. I'm super excited today as I'm going to harvest zucchini. So it's a rainy, windy day today. In fact, it's been raining since yesterday. So I thought it might get sunny and bright today and I can harvest zucchini. So it looks like the rain doesn't seem to stop. So that's not going to stop me from harvesting zucchini. So my garden patch is behind me. So I planted zucchini on June 1st this year and it's been two months and I can find two zucchinis grown up really well on the zucchini plant. So I want to harvest them and I want you guys to join with me while I harvest zucchini. So guys, let's go and harvest zucchini. So here is my small vegetable patch. I have uh, cabbages on these pots. And uh, here are the basil and mint, uh, my favorite herbs on this one. Uh, on the ground, I have a few vegetables. Um, so here is um, cabbage. This is fennel. And uh, I have a small zucchini plant. Uh, so this one was in the pot uh, before. And zucchinis have to be grown on the ground. So I transplanted this uh, to the ground. And uh, I see a baby zucchini here. So I'm going to, I'm not going to harvest this one. Uh, so let it grow for a uh, for a week or so, and I'm seeing one male flower here. So this plant has not been growing well. So let me see. Let it uh, grow for a, a couple more weeks, and let me see if it um, grows well. So beetroot here. So here is the uh, here are the watermelon. So I did. Uh, get uh, flowers from these but I'm not sure if it will go into a watermelon or not um, again another cabbage uh, tomato plant so I do have a few tomatoes so when it um, turns uh, red in color I will harvest and more basil and mint over here and here is the uh, zucchini so so it has grown really well, as you can see, uh, and it has uh, large leaves. And I have more tomatoes over here, and here is the cucumelon. I did see some flowers on cucumelon, but it has not turned into uh, cucumelon yet. Um, so I'm going to give it some time. So let's check zucchini. So here is a large zucchini. So it has grown really large, and I also have another one. So this is medium size. So I'm going to harvest both of these. Um, so I saw a video on YouTube and um, it says that it's not good to allow the zucchinis to grow really large because it will impact the productivity of other zucchinis. Um, so it's good to harvest when they are of this size, I would say, medium size. So this has grown really large. So I'm going to harvest this one and this one. And there are also more flowers. So these are male flowers because... Uh, th this is from a long stalk and I don't see um, many female flowers in my plant. I, I really don't know why. So this one, so this is a female flower. So the female flower comes out of a zucchini. So if it is coming from a long stalk, then it's a male flower. All right. And um, I'm so glad that this zucchini plant has grown really well it is very important that zucchinis are grown on the ground and not in a pot so if it's grown on the ground it will grow really well so it will get really large and look at those beautiful large leaves i hope you guys can see me so where the stem of the zucchini attaches to the uh, plant uh, at the middle of that you need to make a cut Yes, and here you go, guys. So this is so beautiful. Look at that. This is pretty long, so we shouldn't be uh, letting the zucchini grow too long. Um, so the next one, I have to also harvest that. So that's a medium-sized zucchini. So let me go to the other side. The second zucchini. So make a cut. At the center where the stem and the plant meet. Woohoo! Let's get that. Here are the zucchinis that I just harvested and look how gorgeous they are. So gardening is truly rewarding and I feel great joy when I harvest vegetables and herbs from my garden and use them in my cooking. Um, so I, I'm planning to make zucchini cake uh, with these. I'm 
I can also add them to stir fries and can make a lot of different kind of dishes with zucchini. So I do have the video for making zucchini cake. Uh, so do check it out. I'll also post the video link in the description below. So if you have zucchinis in your vegetable patch and if you find pollination is not happening, I do have a video on how to hand pollinate zucchinis. So if you don't have a lot of bees in your garden, so uh, the natural pollination will not happen. Uh, so hand pollination is pretty easy to do. So do check out my video. I'll post the video link in the description below. And if you're planning to grow zucchinis in your garden, maybe next year, these are great uh, to have in your vegetable patch. Uh, so the only thing you need to make sure is to uh, plant them or grow them on the ground uh, rather than growing them in pots because as you can see these uh, grow really huge and they have huge leaves so they need a lot of space so this is the first time i'm growing zucchinis in my vegetable patch and i'm very glad i did that uh, so after two months i'm able to harvest these two zucchinis and we don't have to uh, take care of zucchinis a lot we just have to regularly water them and they will grow really well so guys do uh, plant zucchinis in your garden so i hope you all enjoyed uh, watching this video and watch me harvest zucchinis thank you so much for watching i'll be back with more gardening vlogs and do check out my other gardening vlogs um, and also cooking videos uh, so do let me know your feedback so i'll be back with yet another gardening vlog until then take care bye and